Okay, so today we're talking about the nitrogen cycle. We've talked about how the beans and the peas and the clover are uh, nitrogen fixtures. The nitrogen that is in our atmosphere are two nitrogen atoms that are strongly bonded together. That are strongly bonded together. Atoms strongly bonded together, which isn't very reactive. So, and the plants cannot use it in that form. Plants cannot use it in that form, okay? And plants have to have nitrogen. So the nitrogen in our atmosphere comes is two nitrogen atoms bonded tightly together. Okay, that's what's in the atmosphere. So when they come down to the, now we're gonna talk about coming down. So they come down out of the air, because we cycle, it cycles. Okay, comes down out of the air, goes into the ground. Right. So let's look at that. It is useless to plants. For it to become plant available, we need- All right, so we need to make it plant available. So our cycle starts, so at the top, you're gonna to put, this cycle is gonna be kind of a circle, right? Yes? So this top of your paper, I don't the notes you've taken up till now, you're gonna put atmospheric, you're gonna put two nitrogens bonded together, which is what this represents, you need to start drawing, okay? And you're gonna put the chemical makeup, <coughs> which is two hydrogens, right? That's at the top. I hope you are making this big enough that you, I didn't say to draw a circle. Okay. Did not say to draw a circle. I said to put this at the top of your, because we're gonna come off of that. <coughs> okay, you need to make it big enough where you can write other stuff on it. You need to make your model big enough. This needs to be at the very top and we're gonna branch off of it. Come on around. And then we're gonna, I might have you add other things to it that we don't put on there today. You need to make it big enough so you can put that information on it. Okay. All right, so everybody, so, all right, so we're in the atmosphere. We have two nitrogen atoms bondage tightly and strongly together. Need the help of bacteria. Various species of bacteria. Okay, so once the nitrogen enters the ground, it comes in contact with bacteria. Now there's three different types of bacteria. They represent them up here by three different colors. Uh, they don't give you the names. I don't make you know the names of those three different types of bacteria. You just need to know where they're at and what they do within the cycle. Okay, so the nitrogen comes into the ground. It comes in contact with three, or with, or they've got three.